hey um what's up this is the third video to our visual basic notepad program and in this video i thought of discussing i thought of making this save as thing uh, the, uh, currently nothing much happens here just this pop-up opens and we can um, give a name here and click on save but nothing will happen here well that's because of the code that well before proceeding to this let's do something let me just increase the size a bit uh, just for our sake understanding sake and then just let's change the name it's text one here so let's change the name to something like <coughs> text area that's more meaningful i guess okay now uh, click on file then click on save as this will open up earlier we coded this uh, that's why the common dialog one thing was coming up well now we have to do something more we need the name of we need the path and the name of the file which the user is entering in the dialog box so let's name the variable name because it's name of the file as string okay now i will show you actually x equal to message box common dialog one dot file name well what this will do is it will show as the file name the file name along with the path that the user specified here let me show you uh, oh my god there's an error was there oh shit oh it's all text one so let's change it to text area is there a replace property here replace um, find text one and replace it with text area okay so replace all okay so this is done so hopefully we won't get any more errors no we don't so let's click on save as and give uh, any random name i'm going to say test and click on save as you can see this thing pops up which says see user user desktop slash text so this is the file name which the user specified here well one thing you if you have observed was that it it said slash desktop slash uh, slash desktop slash test but we need it in that dot txt format right so we have to manually add that the dot txt format i will show you in a moment just hold on so name is equal to common dialog one dot file name then give an ampersand sign then within quotes write dot txt okay now the path has dot txt with it also so this is the complete path now now i will show you the code uh, by which we can actually we save the file to a specified location so it's like this um, observe carefully it says open then the path and our path is name as i want to do it as append that's better i will show you in a sec why um i think it's for append uh, for append as hash one let's see if I, okay yeah it is for append as hash one now we have to write something like print hash one comma text area dot text okay so then we to close the function close hash one if this is another okay now let's test it once then i will tell you what um, what are these what these lines actually mean so let's run it once then oh, okay let's write something this is a 
text file okay now let's save it uh, we will save it in desktop that's easy so like text here oh, sorry test here and click on save the file got saved actually but let's view it now so this is our file here test dot text let's open it and see this is text this is a text file it says here okay so now let me explain what uh, this lines mean well it says open then the name with the path i'm sorry the path with the name in my case this common dialog one uh, dot file name gives me the entire path with the name and then i append dot txt here so open this name for what for append okay this is we are appending something so for append um there are other variations like when we opening some file <coughs> At, at that time it won't be for a pen it will be something else i will discuss all this later when i will discussing those operations but this will be done in this project okay so open name for appending as one then print one comma okay what is this one this one is like um the variable for the compiler like um it's not the te technical definition like the compiler um the compiler uh, the compiler names the file as hash one this is how the compiler refers to it okay so print a hash one comma text area dot text what this means is print in this file the contents of text area dot text instead of text area dot text if you had written something like something like within code something like anything let's say youtube then also i guess uh, you would uh, then also i guess the file would be saved and that time the contents of the file would be youtube so let's run it once and check uh it doesn't matter whatever you write here so just adding anything gibberish here then save as and now test 2 i guess test 2 then click on save okay now just check okay test 2 appeared here see youtube is written here so whatever is there that would be printed okay so that would be saved to the file so instead of youtube we have to write text area dot text because that's the content of the text area so uh, i'm going to do just one more thing here before i close before i end this video and that is like i'm going to show you something like what is the difference between save as and save well the difference between save as and save is save as occurs the f occurs first time like you are you are specifying the address okay then you are specifying the file name like that so text area text area uh, so i'm sorry so i'm so sorry not text area save as so save as occurs once at the beginning beginning of the save operations so first save as occurs then once the file is saved then gradually the things are <coughs> modified with the save function right so 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 before save as if the user clicks on save then before save as the user clicks on save then actually the save as prompt should start up i hope i'm clear then the save as prompt should start up so i'm going to i'm going to be discussing this in the next video not in this video i don't want to confuse any of you let's keep this video short okay so this is all for this video uh, tune in to the next video i will show you all these features and i may modify something in I mean, modify some 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 stuff from the save as save as function okay so see you in the next video
Bye-bye.